Now, the Transport Minister's been in Bath today to launch the city's new electric hybrid buses. Norman Baker took a ride into the city on board one of the new double-deckers to see what it's like. The schemes cost millions of pounds, and Chris James reports. They're big and they're green. And Bath is the first place in the southwest to get these part battery, part diesel powered buses. Being 30% more efficient than regular buses, the contractor First Group, which will operate them, is certainly very proud of them and their technology. We've got a double deck bus with a single deck engine in it. We have the engine powers the generator, which is this silver piece here. There's actually an air gap. The, the engine doesn't power the wheels directly at all. The engine charges the battery through this cable. And then this is the motor which pushes the bus along, um, taking charge from the battery. The schemes cost £30 million and eight of these hybrid buses hit the roads here in Bath next Monday. It's hoped that they'll cut carbon emissions as well as cut congestion. And they come with 75 leather seats to make the journey just that little bit more comfortable. And built-in Wi-Fi too, so you can check your emails while you're on the move. And on board from Odd Down Park and Ride for its maiden voyage into Bath city centre, who better than the local transport minister himself? The man who signed off the deal. Well, would you have more people using park and ride, less congestion in the city centre, lower carbon emissions, a cleaner environment and a better economy? It wins all round. Concerned about the 50,000 cars that enter Bath every day, the Lib Dem council leader was keen to show off his solution to the congestion problem. This is just absolutely fantastic news for the city of Bath. These are great new buses, they lose less energy, they're more efficient, they're quieter, they give a much better passenger ride and we think this will encourage more and more people to be using the park and ride and bus options when they're visiting and working in Bath. But costing half a million pounds each, these buses are an expensive upgrade. The Conservative group on the council backs the planned expansion of the odd down park and ride site, but they believe these buses okay. don't go far enough and insist another park and ride to the east of the city is still necessary to beat the queues and reduce emissions. Chris James, BBC Points West, Bath. Chris James on the bus. <laughs>